How are safety concerns and politics combining to affect the future of nuclear power? For some perspective, we're joined now by Bloomberg New Energy Finance's lead nuclear analyst, Chris Godomsky. Chris, always good to be with you. Thanks so much for coming in. Thank you. Peter. All right. First, let's start with uh, the reports about Gregory Josko. He is the head of the Nuclear Regulatory Commission. That's correct. What exactly is the role of the head of the commission and what's the current state of Yucca Mountain? Well, and they, Yucca Mountain has been under development for about 20 years, 30 years, and right now they filed an application in 2008 for the NRC to review it and assess it, okay? The Department of Energy filed that application. And it has to have funding to go ahead and, and make all the studies. They want to determine whether, in fact, that uh, uh, repository which I have been in in 2009, is in fact safe for the disposal, a long-term permanent disposal of uh, nuclear fuel. And so the, the NRC needs to make that decision. But the Department of Energy has asked them to stop uh, going forward with that, and we're holding funding. And as a result of that, you know, we're, we're not going forward with the, the technical evaluation of that repository. But we've already spent about $9 billion on this, right? That's a perfect example of the ineffectiveness of the uh, U.S. energy po uh, um, uh, policy. When Obama came into to power, he said we're going to rely on science and technology. Well, this is a perfect opportunity for us to move from a political landscape to a scientific and technical landscape and to assess the merit of this repository from a scientific scientific and technical uh, uh, um, basis. And we're not doing that because the money is not being spent. So what does the head of the Nuclear Regulatory Commission, what is his role? Well, his role is to make sure that we go ahead and move this thing forward from a scientific and technical uh, um, you know, perspective. His responsibility is the safe operation of the nuclear energy industry. And disposing of used nuclear fuel, fuel in the United States is a very, very important aspect of that. And he's mandated by law, the Department of Energy is, to sort of propose a long-term permanent disposal site. So we need to get on with this process and, and move it forward. Now, you say that you've been in Yucca Mountain. Absolutely. You've looked at the facility. All right, tell us about it. It's absolutely a fascinating place. It's, uh, first of all, it's in a very, very remote uh, part of Nevada, uh, on the Nevada test site where they formerly used to detonate nuclear bombs uh, in the early 1950s or so. Very remote. It's a five-mile tunnel. Imagine one mile into the tunnel in, underneath the mountain, a left turn for three miles, and then one mile back out, okay? And I've been inside that, and, uh, you know, to me, it, it looks like it's a fantastically remote place. It's a very, very dry place. But you have to look at this. The, the uh, spent nuclear fuel needs to be uh, designed for safety for uh, geologic time. That's a very, very long time. So we want to make sure that the integrity of the canisters and the integrity of fuel remain safe and doesn't get into the environment. All right, but compare, I mean, life is a relative proposition, right? I right. mean, right now, the spent fuel from nuclear reactors is stored on the sites of those nuclear operating facilities, right? Right now, um, fuel goes into a reactor, stays there for several years, comes out, and goes into the spent fuel pools. After the spent fuel pools, it will go migrate out into dry cask storage. These are concrete reinforced cylinders which sit on the property, okay? And the NRC has estimated that it's safe to store there for 100 years. But really, we need to sort of come up with a permanent long-term solution, or we need to think about ways to to recycle or reprocess the fuel. And there are other technologies that are in the, uh, that are coming that will allow us to do that. I beg your pardon. Time is short. I'll only give you about 10 seconds. The report about radiation in Japan, serious? Uh, I spoke to someone today, and they said it's not serious, but then other people say it's very, very serious. But uh, uh, what can you say? It's, radiation is always a serious thing. All right, Chris Kodomsky, thank you very much. Uh, Bloomberg at New Energy Finance, always appreciate your coming thank and giving you. us your perspective.